The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Badabiamila, has pointed out that Nigeria needs leaders with the capacity and character to lead it at this time of its history. He said this during the official inauguration of the Legislative Mentorship Initiative Program in Abuja. Our correspondent, Emmanuel Ehijene, reports. This initiative could not have come at a better time than this, when the country desperately needs leaders who can redirect the nation to the path of peace, unity, and above all, development. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, who is also the founder of the initiative while inaugurating the body, said that the aim of the initiative is the need to mold leaders with the capacity to make quality decisions in politics and governance. Whatever happens, Nigeria desperately needs leaders with the capacity and character to manage change. The consequences of the changes happening in our world today will depend on how we respond, the decisions we make, and the ideas we choose to invest in. The quality of our decision making in politics and governance will define the course of our country. Whether we achieve progress, prosperity, peace, and security, for all our people depends entirely on the capacity and competence of our political leadership. In their goodwill messages, dignitaries, including the Director General of the Nigerian Institute of Legislative and Democratic Studies, Abubakar Suleiman, appreciated the initiative, stressing that it was to expose young Nigerian men and women to the fundamentals of legislative practice and procedure, which ultimately will stimulate their zeal for public service, especially in the legislature. The relevance of this initiative assumes a greater significance given the relative age of the legislature compared to the executive and the judiciary. The legislature remains the least understood arm of government and an easy target for criticism and attacks. This is not unusual, nor is it unique to Nigeria. There have been challenges along the way, but the resilient Nigerian spirit keeps us going. And in this room, our hope for a better future is embodied in the amazing young people who have stood up to be counted as potential leaders for a better Nigeria. A round of applause for the 74 members of the inaugural program. Members of the initiative expressed delight at the initiative and stated that the experienced Ghanad will assist in making them better leaders in the future. I feel like this is like an opportunity for me to expose myself to the act of legislature and of course to know some of the metrics of the legislative harm. And my expectation basically is to network with other leaders across the country and also to meet with prominent individuals and then to learn and relearn and unlearn. This uh, opportunity is well designed for me and I want to appreciate the Honorable Rice Speaker for this great opportunity for building and grooming the young and uh, the next generation of uh, public sector leaders. The theme of the program is building the next generation of Nigeria's public sector leaders. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.